conflict between two officers. An English prisoner in the camp, and a Japanese commander. It is a conflict of two traditions. Divine, and human. A conflict of two morals. Biblical, and tribal. A conflict of two mentalities. Humble, and proud. I hate the British! You are defeated, but you have no shame. You are stubborn, but have no pride. You endure, but you have no courage. I hate the British! Why close going on like this? Stay there! While in humiliation, a proud and arrogant person looks humiliated and insulted, in the same temptation, a meek and humble person shines with dignity, like Jesus, when he was humiliated, beaten, and spat in his face. What is protection against false humility? No man can of himself understand his errors. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Jeremiah 17, verse 9. The lips may express a poverty of soul that the heart does not acknowledge. While speaking to God of poverty of spirit, the heart may be swelling with the conceit of its own superior humility and exalted righteousness. In one way only can a true knowledge of self be obtained. We must behold Christ. It is ignorance of him that makes men so uplifted in their own righteousness. When we contemplate his purity and excellence, we shall see our own weakness and poverty and defects as they really are. We shall see ourselves lost and hopeless, clad in garments of self-righteousness, like every other sinner. We shall see that if we are ever saved, it will not be through our own goodness, but through God's infinite grace. Christ carried out in his life his own divine teachings. His zeal never led him to become passionate. He manifested consistency without obstinacy, benevolence without weakness, tenderness and sympathy without sentimentalism. He was highly social, yet he possessed a reserved dignity that did not encourage undue familiarity. His temperance never led to bigotry or austerity. He was not conformed to this world, yet he was not indifferent to the wants of the least among men. He was awake to the needs of all. I will bow, this is the token, I will bow.